engage in sujood a lot happens we benefit not only spiritually and within the obedience of Allah which is our primary aim of sujood your intention should be I am engaging in what Allah has instructed me to engage in. I'm worshiping Allah in the way that I was taught by Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I want to please Allah. That is the intention whenever you go into sujood. No one can go into sujood saying, I'm only going into this position because of the benefits of the sujood upon my health. Those are side benefits. It's not the primary intention ever. If that was your intention, again, you would be wrong. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us correct our intentions at all times. Remember, intention is key. So my brothers and sisters, when we go down there, one of the supplications were taught by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is to say, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la. Subhana Rabbi al-A'la. Subhana Rabbi al-A'la. We repeat it a minimum of three times. We could go on to five or seven or more. But that is one of the phrases of praise of Allah. We are glorifying Allah. Glory be to Allah. Subhana Rabbi. Glory be to my Rabb. My Rabb meaning the one who made me, who is in control of my existence. In other words, the nourisher, the cherisher, the sustainer, the provider, the protector, the curer, the one in whose hands lies control of entire existence of mine and all other creatures. We are saying glory be to my Rabb, Al-A'la, the highest. He is the highest. Well, we have to agree and we do believe he who made us, the maker, is indeed the highest. No one can be upon his position in any way whatsoever. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that we should say good words. Similarly, there is another dua that we were taught by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sajada wajhi lilladhi khalaqahu wa sawwarahu wa shakka sam'ahu wa basarahu bi hawlihi wa quwwatihi. My head has prostrated for the one my head has prostrated for the one who has created it who has fashioned it meaning given it its identification everyone's face is different so my face has actually prostrated for the one who has created it the one who has fashioned it the one who has slit open its eyes so that i can see the one who has opened burst opened its ears so that i can hear subhanallah fatabarakallahu ahsanul khaliqeen so glory be to allah who is the best of creators obviously he is the only creator who creates from nothing but we use the term best of creators because man can only change what allah has created from one position to another for example when people say, look at what I made, they did not make it from nothing. They actually transformed it from one point to another. What they did is they took, for example, the metal and they carved it into a motor vehicle. So they cannot say I made the motor vehicle by saying B and it is. That's not called a creator. It's actually someone who has transformed one thing that Allah made into another thing. But still Allah says, Allah is the best of creators. We believe he's the only creator. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a deeper understanding. When we go into the position of sujood, we're also asked to make dua. Make dua meaning supplicate to Allah. It's the closest you could be to Allah. Learn the beautiful supplications of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Learn to ask the Almighty using beautiful words that were used by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or that were mentioned by Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala in revelation. These are the most powerful words and we should try our best to learn them, to use them, to call out to Allah. May Allah make it easy for every one of us and may Allah grant us our wish. 
But I want to raise the awareness of something else. Whenever you are sad, whenever you're feeling anxious, whenever you don't know what's about to happen, whenever there is uncertainty in your life, whenever people are trying to harm you, one of the best ways of benefiting yourself is to pray two units of prayer and to prolong your sujood. Listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says at the end of Surah Al-Hijr to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says, وَلَقَدْ نَعْلَمُ أَنَّكَ يَضِيقُ صَدْرُكَ بِمَا يَقُولُونَ فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَكُمْ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ وَاعْبُدْ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ We know that it tightens your chest what they are saying. What were they saying? Well, the people of Quraysh used to say nasty things to the Prophet Sallallahu false accusations, words of belittling. They tried to belittle, but they would never succeed because nobody can belittle the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They mocked at, they scoffed at, and the only thing that happened was their own status was dropped. Never did that affect the status of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But Allah says it tightened your chest. We know it saddened you. The reason why it saddened him was he was desperately seeking their guidance and he was so sad that they were not listening and that it was going to be affecting them negatively. So part of Nubuwa and prophethood is that the messenger peace be upon him was very concerned about the guidance of those whom he was calling out to the deen and therefore whenever they rejected or mocked or scoffed at etc. He would be saddened. And the tightening of the chest refers to so many things. Allah says, we know that what they are saying tightens your chest, but we want to advise you. What did Allah advise him? Subhanallah. Allah says, فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكْ Declare the greatness of Allah. Glorify Allah. Declare the praise of Allah. Alhamd is referring to the praise. فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكْ Declare the glorification and the praise of Allah, of your Rabb, the one who made you. Think about he who made you and he who is in control of every aspect of your living right now and every aspect of the living of all the creatures that he has made. And think about he whom you are going to return to. That is your Rabb. So Allah says, declare his praise, glorify him. And kum min as be from among those who are often engaged in prostration. as those who prostrate. So the prostration will help you overcome that hurt, that sadness, that anxiety, those negative feelings. What will help you? Prostration will help you, my brothers and sisters. Take your time. It's a gift of Allah. Go into that position and weep to Allah, cry to Allah, praise Allah, call out to Allah. Do whatever you would like to for the sake of Allah in that position, in terms of the words you're going to say and cry to Allah. Remember, we're taught how to prostrate, but we're also taught by the Prophet Wasallam that we are allowed to call out to Allah in that position of prostration. So get into that position and call out to Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us acceptance. Allah says at the end of Surah Al-Hijr, and it, Allah says, Wa'bud Rabbak and worship your Lord until death comes to you, until the end, until the very end. And this is what my brothers and sisters will actually help us. So remember, every time there is uncertainty, you want to call out to Allah. What better thing to do than to get up at a time that we know is the most blessed time to call out to Allah, which is the time of the Hajjud, the last third of the night, and then to engage in the position or posture that we know would make us the closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and then weep to Allah and then cry to Him, knowing that He is calling out at that time, saying, Who is there who is asking me that I can give them? And we're busy in sujood in the highest possible posture, the best and the closest to Allah, saying to Him that, Yes, I am here, O Allah. 
I need, I am in need, I am calling out to you, grant me, O Allah, make sure that your supplications are good, they are positive, they are something you would be proud of. May Allah help us forgive people, may Allah help us call out to him in a positive way. My brothers and sisters, remember something. We are not allowed to call out to anyone besides Allah. We cannot render sujood for anyone besides Allah subhanahu. Thank you so much for listening to the short message. I pray that it has increased you in a little bit of motivation and hope. And the same applies to all of us. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.